So, well, let's talk about what's a breach. There's a progression from, huh, we see something unusual, or this smells funny, or I just got an unusual email. Those are indicators to, yes, confirmed, that's unauthorized activity, which we'd probably call an event, to a meaningful negative business impact to your organization. And that's what we call either an incident or even a breach. Indicators could be technical sensors. Um, it could be a security program monitoring account activity, or it could be a person in your organization having the presence of mind to come to you about the odd phone call they just received or the email request that looks like it's from your financial services vendor with unexpected new bank routing information. How do you handle those sorts of things? Your IT environment includes the tools, the people, and the processes that together make up your security culture. Indicators can come from any of them. When an indicator pops up, it needs to be investigated and validated, or at least you can choose which ones need to be investigated and validated. Is it a real threat, or is it just unusual activity that doesn't fit the normal or normal pattern, but it's still okay, that's acceptable? And if it's real, then for shorthand, let's call that an event. So a threat actor interacted somehow with your environment, your tools, your people, or your business processes. The two steps beyond it need your personal judgment because it's only an incident or a breach if it was meaningful to you and your business and your responsibilities. And we'll talk about sensitivities a little bit later on. A threat actor might try to fish your users all the time. Those are events. But until the one time the threat actor successfully logs in under one of your trusted employees' accounts, that could be an incident. And if that incident compromises confidentiality, integrity, or availability, and I'll explain what those mean, then let's use the term breach for that. Well, importantly, your team is your source of indicators, and your IT team can likely investigate indicators and determine if there's a cybersecurity event or a likely cybersecurity event. And then you as a business executive determine if the event was meaningful or significant or compromised asset sensitivity. Importantly, indicators don't equal events. Events don't equal incidents. Incidents don't equal breaches. But there's a progression from we've detected something unusual, we've investigated it, yes, it really did happen, now it's significant to the business, it actually compromised something important. It's all a business risk and impact decision, and your determination might be partially prescribed by your regulatory environment and the contracts that you operate within, which is why it makes sense to think about this ahead of time. And I'll give you some takeaway examples of how to categorize sensitivity and impacts a little bit later on.